Hey fellow patriots, Bravo Echo here. Thanks for tuning in and uh, checking out this new video. It's, uh, it's been a few weeks, actually a couple months since I've done a uh, chat from the garden. Uh, actually the last 60 days I haven't had a lot of time to spend in the garden. Mainly just time to um, pick the fruits of uh, blessings and uh, we're kind of wandering down a little bit now. I'll, I'll tell you more on the garden here in a little bit and uh, just wanted to chat with you for a few. Tomorrow is October 1st, only four more days, four more days till the big doomsday that everyone has got their uh, panties in a wad about. People are losing their minds over, and uh, I'm not real sure why. Um, especially people who are paying attention to things that are going on in the world, or seems to be the ones that are in panic mode for whatever reason. But uh, you know, here's kind of the way I see it. If you've been preparing all along and uh, kind of made it a way of life. Uh, building plans, growing, freezing, canning, dehydrating, freeze drying, whatever it might be. Uh, you're already taking steps uh, for whatever type of event that may occur. It may be this winter. Uh, it may be October 4th. It may be you lose a job. Who, who knows what it's going to be? The whole point in preparing is preparing you for unseen events that's going to change your way of life that will give you the food resources that you've invested in to put aside. Okay? If nothing happens, simply going in the grocery store today you can see uh, the exorbitant cost of food. I was in the grocery store earlier this week just to grab uh, one or two things in a hurry. And I had a gentleman in front of me checking out. He got, um, he got a 36 pack of water, bottled water. He got two six packs of Gatorade and he had two plastic grocery bags. And his bill was $118. This is the way of life. If you are growing food or you've put food back, let me tell you, friends, you're blessed. You're blessed because so many out there either didn't have it, couldn't. The reason it doesn't matter is they don't have the food and they're having to go in these stores and pay astronomical prices just to get by week to week and the concern is for many we're moving into October you're gonna have colder temperatures coming soon and uh, heating bills are, are heating bills went up over the summer they're going to be astronomical through the winter prescription drugs automobile insurance keeps going up rent rent keeps going up. The number of homeless people is going up because people can't pay rent. Mortgages, foreclosures, the average the average mortgage payment in America right now, average, is $2,000 a month. 42% of auto owners are paying $1,000 a month for a car payment. Uh, more power to them. I'm telling you, uh, as we roll through the coming months, uh, this is going to be a choking point for many. So for me personally, um, I believe, you don't have to believe, I believe whether it's October 4th, October 10th, October 20th, November 1st, uh, I do believe one of the greatest impacts that's going to impact us all 
is going to be locally and it's going to be uh, people around us who are not going to be able to afford to live and they're going to be severely impacted by food and we're going to go from folks not being able to buy food to people begging for money going in and out of grocery stores to we're going to be seeing and reading and hearing stories of people being robbed in parking lots of grocery stores not for money but for food and it's going to intensify for those who prepare the positive side to this is the fact if you have been preparing you don't have to put yourself in this predicament or this situation and that's a huge that's a huge plus for for anyone uh, and it's kind of the whole theory or concept of preparing and that is separating yourself from the 90% who are not prepared uh, to give yourself space and distance um, for, for many reasons so uh, like I said uh, we all have our own theories uh, I look at it this way if they take away the internet I'm still alive they, they, if they do digital currency I'm still alive because I've been preparing um, it, it gives me that security blanket of having food water shelter and security and that's been the premise of everything that we've taught uh, over the last years yeah all this other stuff will be painful it's going to change life from what we know it but you can't lay down and quit you can't lay down and live in depression uh, or any of that you gotta live your life be thankful for what you have be thankful for each meal roof over your head family friends uh, I think our greatest gift is in the people that we have around us um, so that's just my thoughts um, feel free to comment below um, again um, let me know what you think so until uh, next time um, take care stay healthy be safe and uh, thanks for tuning in uh, bravo let go out hey everyone it's been a little bit since uh, I've actually had time to uh, do a chat from the garden as uh, gardening is winding down for the spring summer and uh, now we're in autumn one day prior to October 1st and uh, give you a little quick peek um, I still got three or four items that are uh, producing out here I got uh, sweet potatoes green beans and uh, uh, three different types of uh, peppers um, producing quite well they're loving this weather 80 degree days and in the 50s at night uh, with a lot of humidity so uh, uh, I wanted to come out and pick the last run of my green beans these I planted in July and uh, I've already pulled uh, enough for about nine or ten pints off of these which gives us about 40 pints uh, for the season and then on top of what I pick this evening um, and because uh, I've been away for a few weeks I uh, haven't had a chance to give a lot of attention to the garden um, some type of a uh, dry mold um, got on my green bee leaves so it's starting to wipe them out so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and 
pick and uh, pull them up and uh, be done with that. So you can see it's still pretty green in here. Uh, over here on this side, I've got uh, the peppers and uh, the marigolds and green beans. And then the crazy vines you see running here are actually sweet potatoes. Uh, not really enough space in raised bed boxes for sweet potatoes to get a mass uh, production out of them. I actually still have a lot of butterflies and bees um, as well. So uh, here you have sweet potatoes. I just pulled up my tomato plants. Have a little bit of lettuce uh, growing and um, some beets. There's some beets hidden amongst those um, sweet potatoes. And then down here, this is all green beans. They're all the same age. But you can see as I go down the box where um, that mold hit, hit on them. So uh, I'll go ahead and pick the blessings and uh, can them and uh, make the most of what I got. So you can see the butterfly here flying around, one of several. I wanted to show you something kind of neat. My neighbor passed me off um, a small plant back around June or July. And uh, I planted it and then kind of forgot about it. But you can see it here. It grew quite well. But about a month ago, I started noticing these white flowers. It's like, wow, what plant's that? So I come over to look, and we've already picked about 40 or 50. These are Japanese peppers. And they're a little bit milder than uh, a jalapeno. So we dice them up and use them in salads and uh, eggs and things of that nature. And this is called, a, I believe it's called a shishito, a shishito pepper. And then over here, uh, we got some poblanos that uh, produced very well. I picked a full bag yesterday. And there's still more growing and hanging um, down in here. So uh, you can see uh, across right there, there's some peppers hanging there. So, uh, and we've had so many peppers, we're actually. Um, dicing them up and freezing them and uh, using them through the winter so this is kind of uh, I'll wait and pick the uh, sweet potatoes in October uh, they take about 120 days roughly so as, uh, as long as we're not going to get a frost uh, I'll let them keep growing but you can uh, you can see a few of them uh, they're so thick in there I was out here the other day or actually yesterday and uh, there's a few places, if I can remember where it was at, that you can actually see the, right here's one, they lay just below the surface uh, and grow. So there's one right there, and uh, there's a couple right in there, so uh, you can see them if you grow them. I know some folks have said they've never tried to grow 
sweet potatoes. So um, they're kind of fun, but man, they take up a lot of room. So uh, share what you still have growing and uh, what you've had success with or problems you've had. I've had more, uh, more um, of a dry fungus or mold. I had some on the spaghetti squash last year, but um, I've had more this year. I've never had it on green beans before until this year. So anyway, hope you had a uh, successful growing season and um, are making plans for your next growing season and uh, saving some of your seeds and uh, start them early so you can have a prosperous growing cycle next year. So uh, thanks for tuning in and we appreciate it. If you have not subscribed, please reach up and hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. It does help in the algorithms. Um, it helps us grow. So, uh, till next time, take care, stay healthy, be blessed, and uh, don't let the world drive you crazy. There's more to life than uh, worrying about everything that's going on in the world. So, uh, have, fun, have fun while you're preparing. It actually can be a lot of fun. It's hard work, but it can be fun. Take care. Bravo Echo out. Thank you for checking out the Hope for Survival YouTube channel. If you are new to Hope for Survival, you can check out our books at our webpage, book one, which is Hope for Survival, getting you prepared for disasters, and book two, Hope for Survival, the mindset, are both available for order on the website. We also offer the Hope for Survival football stick, which is a memory stick set up as a digital filing cabinet with files already loaded on there for you to digitally copy items such as a deeds, auto um, transcript uh, for ownership, wills, living wills, loans, banking information, items that if your home burned down or you had some form of a disaster, you could have all of your important papers already digitally filed on this stick. All you, sim all you do is simply drag the digital file into the appropriate uh, preset folder so that you'll have it in the event of a disaster. You have to flee your home in a hurry or also if you're away from home and you need critical information that's personal, if you have your memory stick with you, you can put it in your computer and pull that information up wherever you may be. Again, you can find these items uh, to order at our website, https www.hopeforsurvival.com or you can email me at preparedness101 at protonmail.com and I will try to help you out. Again, thanks for checking out the Hope for Survival YouTube channel. Hope to see you again.